So I hope by now, if you've been working with PHP for any amount of time, you have heard of Laravel. And if you haven't, you should definitely look into it. Um, it's got many, many great features, but of its many features, one of my favorites happens to be its templating engine called Blade. And it would seem that Blade has drawn some inspiration from uh, ASP.NET's Razor templating engine, uh, which is a really good thing because it's about time PHP has implemented something like this. And as much as I love Laravel, I love WordPress uh, almost just as much. And the other day I came across a Blade plugin for WordPress. Now granted, this is using uh, Laravel version 3's implementation of Blade, uh, which is just a little bit outdated by now, and it still has a few flaws, but for the most part, it works pretty well. And I suggest you take a look at it, even if it's just playing around, just so you can see what kind of power Blade can bring to your templates. So if you scroll through this page, you can get an idea of what it starts to do. So it starts to clean up your syntax a little bit just with simple things like not requiring you to open close your PHP tags, but instead you get nice uh, little curly brackets here to do that for you. And behind the scenes, uh, the engine is just replacing this and, you know, actually in the end, that, that is what gets put out to PHP for you. But this is just so much nicer to work like this in your templates. And you can see when you scroll down further um, how it really cleans up some of your, um, you know, if else statements and then your standard loops get cleaned up quite a bit. And I believe there's another system out here. I think, uh, I think somebody did a Twig implementation, uh, being able to use Twig in your themes. So it's just really nice to see this come along. And, and like I said, it, it might not be production ready for you, but it is nice to see this type of thing implemented. And it would be awesome to see this implemented into core. So I just wanted to give you a really, really quick rundown of what this would look like in your themes. And I'm using um, HTML5 blank by Todd Madu. And just really simple here, like I said. So really standard setup. If you were to open the index.php, you'll see that I've tweaked it a little bit. Um, so you're no longer seeing your WP head function or your WP footer. Instead, it's replaced uh, with a section and a layout call up here. So what is this doing behind the scenes? Um, it's pretty simple. If you come up here, you'll see something not so familiar to a WordPress setup it is a layouts folder that I've created. And this could go in any folder, but just kind of following some basic conventions here. And inside of layout, you can see I have a master file. So up here, I'm calling layouts master. And what it's doing is saying, use this file as, as the core template here. So normally, as you know, you would generally split all of the header type content into the header.php file as seen here. So here's the header.php file. And now here's the master PHP file. So all I've done really is just combined the header and footer. Notice that the WP footer and usual WP head uh, calls are still here. So really all I've done is, is jam these into one. And the reason this is nice um, is because you can inject pieces of the template here. So here, I'm calling yield head, and we'll see that in a second. But if I keep scrolling down, 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 see yield content. And the yield call is where in your actual template file, like index.php, is where you will inject that content into. And so you can, you can have as many or as little of these as you want, and you can call them whatever you want to. So if I open index.php again, and notice there's the layout that I set, and here is the section content. So anything inside of the section will then get injected into this yield area here. And that kind of seems like normal functionality for WordPress, right? What is the difference between doing that versus setting, you know, my WP 
header up here and WP footer down here and you know optionally the sidebar and then putting everything in between that well the difference is is you have a lot more control over it now so before when you were loading everything here and here what you had control over was everything in between but now you have a lot more functionality over this so you can do things like this as opposed to just calling header you can now render section head in section and then anything you put inside of here will then get injected up there so normally to do this kind of stuff you would have to put some sort of conditional wrapper right like you would detect what page you were on so if you know if you were on page home uh, inject you know specific sorts of scripts in there or you would do that through some sort of plugin but now wherever you want you can inject this content so you don't have to do any sort of fancy conditional checking or anything like that and not to mention the syntax is just overall uh, it's a bit cleaner so notice inside here I'm calling include loop and so if I open where you at here loop PHP uh, I could then come in here and just clean all this up so instead of using the normal longhand syntax here I can come in and call actually it's just WP posts is uh, there we go so at WP posts and then that will basically render out um, the normal if statement there so you can take this even a step further I know this is kind of weird to look at uh, but you can take it even a step further and inherit templates so let's say you have a product section of your site notice in my layouts there's a products.php so a layout can also inherit a layout so my products here is implementing the layouts master layout and then inside of the content section I'm creating a new div class products and I'm yielding a product list so then my actual template inherits products which inherits master so it gets the default layout but now I'm injecting a new kind of structure here and this could be a lot more detailed than just this you know it could be a whole setup uh, but you don't have your weird template hacks to get that into place and you get your nice inheritance here and you can in inherit down as far as you want you can go 20 layers deep if you really wanted to um, so what would that look like then uh, down here I have template products and admittedly this this is a little bit different I know that um, like the page template name here so notice that this comment feels a little bit different than what you're used to seeing in your standard uh, you know PHP template name comment um, and it has to come below the layout call here so here I'm calling layout products which again inherits from the master layout and then again I've got a little uh, script to inject into the head section no need to do any weird hacks to get that in there and then my products list I could you know do whatever functionality here to list out the products and then also notice this featured section I don't have to put this if I wanted to I could just omit that and it wouldn't put anything in that place so that's kind of nice that you know yielding those sections are optional so hopefully you can start to see some of the power that blade can start to bring to WordPress um, I don't expect that this plugin will become you know some sort of uh, massively used uh, thing for developers you know to use for WordPress but I hope it starts to uh, open people's eyes to what blade can do and it would just be awesome to see this kind of thing in WordPress so just my two cents just kind of wanted to show this people because I have used this in a couple of you know smaller sites um, you know they're not real important or anything but it has helped tremendously to be able to clean the code base up and get a bit through the uh, through the templates so Hopefully you enjoy.